In this video, we will talk about keywords and identifiers in Python. Keywords are, are words that have special meaning in the Python language. Below I have a list of the keywords in the Python 3 language. There's not many of them, but these language, these, each of these words means something or does something specific in the Python language. Identifiers are the words that we, we, we name other elements in the Python language. So identifiers are the things that we give, are the names that we give elements. Um, different things like variables, functions, classes are named elements in Python. When we want to create a name for something, we have to follow some rules. So here are the rules for naming an identifier. An identifier can contain any uppercase or lowercase letter. It can contain any number value or it can contain or and it can contain an underscore character. So letters, numbers, and an underscore are valid characters to use in, a, in an, an identifier. Identifiers can be of any length, so we can make long identifiers. However, we cannot begin an identifier with a number. That's one of the exceptions to the rule here. We can use any of these characters as long as we don't start with a number. And also, we cannot name an identifier the same name as a keyword because Python couldn't distinguish between the two. Now, identifiers are case sensitive. So if I name a, a something lowercase age and then I name something capital age, these are two independent identifiers. Now, those were the rules to name identifiers. Let's talk about the conventions we should follow when we name things in Python. Just because I can name something underscore x38a, maybe this isn't the best name I could choose. So what we want to do is we want to choose names for elements that uh, help with the readability of our code and help with maintenance, and etc. So here are some conventions we can follow. When you're naming something, you should try to give the element a descriptive name. So instead of using names like x, y, z, uh, if you can, use a name like total or sum or first name. G give the identifier a name that represents what it's representing. Uh, convention in Python is that class names should begin with a capital letter. All other elements that you name should begin with a lowercase letter. So if you wanted to name a variable or a function in Python, maybe you would name it total, lowercase total instead of uppercase total. And then in Python, the convention is if you have multiple words in an, in an identifier, to make them easier to read, you can separate those words using an underscore character. So instead of pass flag as one identifier, you can make it a little easier to read by using an underscore. So these are some of the conventions that are followed in Python. Let's look at some I examples here and discuss whether the, each of these identifier names are valid or invalid. So we'll start with this first one, salary 2019. This is a valid identifier. It contains letters, numbers, and underscores. It contains valid characters, and it doesn't start with a number. So this is a valid identifier. Now let's look at the next one, first place. Now this uh, identifier has all the valid characters, but it begins with a number. So this is an invalid identifier. The next character or the next identifier is called, we have here, we have phone and then a hash symbol for number. Well, the hash character is not one of the valid characters we can use, so this is not a valid identifier. Our next example, last name with a space. The space character is also not a valid identifier. You can't put a space between two parts of an identifier. What Python would, would look at last name and try to assume that the, this was two separate identifiers. Our next example has a couple underscores followed by the number 5. Now this looks a little weird, but this is technically a valid identifier because it uses valid characters and doesn't start with a number. However, it's not, it's not, we're not, we are not following convention here. This is not a, a very uh, well-named identifier. Our next example, we have the identifier yield. 
This looks like a valid identifier, but it is not because yield happens to be a keyword in the Python language. So because yield is a keyword, we cannot use the word yield as an identifier. In our final example, I have the, the word capital continue. Now, lowercase continue is a keyword in Python. But if I capitalize the C here, I, I, am, I have changed the, the identifier enough so that it is a unique uh, identifier. It is distinguishable from the keyword, and this is a valid identifier. All right, so here is a summary of, those, of our, what we just went over. So you can look at that. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show how we use identifiers to create variables.